guys and welcome back in the last video i covered how to import data from a csv file and load it into objects uh, a list of objects and in this video i will teach you how to export data um, to the csv file instead so for that we need another csv file and we will create one like in the previous video if you haven't seen it i will recommend you go check it out because then this video would make a lot more sense um so we're gonna call it fruit export and we need to tell java that we're working with the csv file so we're going to put the dot csv at the end so now we have the uh, the csv file to work with and as in the previous video we made a Java class called import data. In this one, we're gonna call one, uh, we're gonna make another one called export data. Like this, all right? Um, so for this, we need a method that writes to the CSV file, okay? Oh, that's a void, it don't returns anything. So we're gonna call it export data. And we're going to pass in an argument, just call it line or call it whatever you want, like this. <coughs> um, because we're going to use that to write what, uh, to write the, the things we will have to um, export to the um, CSV file. So that will be exported to the CSV file. So we're going to use this in a moment. But first, as in the previous video, we will have to tell where do we need to export this data to. And IntelliJ is, I'm working in IntelliJ, is really smart because in here you can find copy path and you're gonna choose this one. And then it knows where it's stored. Um, so where it has to uh, export the data to. So we're gonna call it path and there you go now it knows so and then we're going to work with the file um file and equals new file and then the path that we just told where okay and then we need the file writer to write to the file file writer writer there you go a new file writer and we will pass in the file and append through here there you go and we also need the buffet writer class instead of reader we now need the writer because we're gonna write to the to the csv file there you go instead of read the csv file data from the csv file we're now going to write to the csv file all right. Oh, and we need to tell it this. There you go. Okay. Um, so now this um, instance of the Buffett writer have some uh, some uh, methods that we can use, and we will use the write method. So uh, we're gonna put in this. There you go. And this is where our lime came comes in place. So, like this. Um, so it's coming from here. So whatever we pass in here when we call the method, that is got the what is uh, what we are gonna write into the CSV file. All right. New line. And then we're gonna close it, and we also gonna close the file right here. There you go. Okay, so now we have some lines. Um, it needs an IO exception. We're just gonna add that to the method signature here. You could also uh, make a try catch, um, which is the same principle as I did here. We did the try catch here, uh, so we don't have to put it in the method signature, but I thought I would uh, make two different videos um on one showing this one uh where we do the try catch and this where it's uh thrown in uh inside the method signature up here so you don't have to write it down all right so 
if we go back into the main method now and we uh, make an instance of the export data class we can then access its methods export data and the line we want to import it's this is a test and then we of course need to uh, add the method signature as well up here so we will do that to make sure that if it crashes we will have an exception to catch the exception all right so if we run it and we go into the fruit csv it will print this is a test so that is basically how you export data from uh, into a csv file uh, i hope you liked the video if you did please remember to leave a like and a subscribe and if you have any questions i will gladly answer them or if you have any any other recommendations for future videos i could cover that will also be very much appreciated um Yep, that was about it. See you in the next video.